Hello and welcome to Hotel Management School. Today we are going to talk about how do we market for hospitality industry in current scenarios. Um, you can look at the, you can read for a whole article at our website www.ehotelmanagementschool.com. So, talking about marketing for hospitality industry in these current scenarios where we have so much of crisis ongoing, the coronavirus, the political instabilities, uh, low business, disruptions in the supply chain, uh, people are not traveling. So the common question that uh, every hotel manager or every hotel owner would have in their mind is, should we should we spend on the marketing should the hotel spend on marketing the answer to this question is obviously if yes um, then the question that comes in the general mind is that okay if you want to do the marketing what to say and how to market how much we should be spending where to spend the money how to identify the right channel and audience uh, that we want to do the marketing how to execute the plan and how to monitor the spend and returns. So in this um, video, we are going to take care of all these questions one by one so that you have a clear understanding of whether you should do the marketing or whether you should not spend on the marketing. So, let, <coughs> sorry. so let's tackle about the first uh, question. Should the hotels market? Should we spend money on marketing? The question obviously is yes, uh, why you should not be doing the marketing? If you don't do the marketing for your hotels, you will be losing uh, presence in the customer's mind and among the highly competitive market. There are so many hotels out there. If you are not up on top of your customer mind, if your brand is not on top of your customer mind, you will lose the, the momentum, you will lose the um, loyalty from the customers and when the uh, when the travel starts or even if the partial travel is there uh, you will be losing out the business it will be very hard for you to grow up again and gain the gain the customer base gain the audience attention uh, in the future so you should do the marketing you will if the competitors are taking uh, ta uh, if uh, competitors are they doing the marketing or they are doing the sales they will be taking over whatever business is there uh, so even though there is a very small level of business but there is some level of business many hotels are closed um, uh, unfortunately but there is still a demand whatever small it is however small it is and if your hotel is operating uh, you should be taking advantage of the your marketing spend uh, and take over the business. If you're not doing it, your competitors will do and will take over the business that is there and also potentially the future business. Even if you are not operating the property at the moment, you still should spend money on the marketing. Why? Because the marketing will help you to remain on top of customer mind. Whenever they want to travel, they will remember you. Uh, if you your message is constantly up there in their in their brains in their subconscious so uh, they will they will remember whenever they want to do uh, a business they want to whenever they want to travel they may plan to stay with you so marketing will help to build up the maintain the brand value of your uh, customers of your of your guest uh, whenever they want to travel in the future or whenever even if they are traveling to uh, to travel now currently right or they can do the other businesses with you maybe uh, if you are planning to do a, let's say a food delivery business whenever, whenever you may be trying to plan to do uh, a laundry business uh, or take home business or some any business any ancillary business that you are doing now to survive yourself uh, it will help you to generate more and more leads and customers if you are doing any marketing so uh, and also out compete the other hotels who would cut on their efforts so it's not about the money only it's also about the time effort and energy that you spend on marketing so in the future slides in the future um, things we will be discussing <coughs> sorry when we are going to discuss the marketing how 
we should be doing the marketing how much we are going to spend obviously there is a budget cut because uh, the, the the revenue is not there but there has to be some sort of spend so we will look at that why what so now the first thing uh, that you have to answer is really what to say now uh, hotel is closed or hotel is very less the people are not willing to travel right so uh, what to say now if you if you really want to do marketing what to say so the first thing that you have to be clear in your mind is no to only promotional offers so you cannot do the promotional offers only you are not going to say show your facilities only you're not going to show the rates that you have you're not going to show uh, where which location you are uh, uh, how uh, how distinct is your location because that is not the focus of your customers of your audience at this point of time so what do you say you can divide your message into three or four parts one is the educational messaging so the hotels can decide on uh, from doing the marketing based on education everybody now is turning to uh, some sort of social media youtube linkedin everywhere right uh, more online and online so the what they are looking for they are looking for uh, education they are looking for information they are looking for inspiration they are looking for entertainment so these are the things why uh, people are spending time online and you this is what you have to uh, exploit as well so the educational messaging you can teach something new to the guest you can teach a recipe you can teach a yoga session you can teach a meditation session uh, or you can just in, uh, educate them how to do um, the big uh, cakes at their home, how to do the laundry properly, how to do the deep cleaning. Uh, you can show the videos, you can show the blog post. Uh, so we will be coming to that, how we are going to do that. But the first thing you have to decide is what to say. So the what is the something new to the guest. Then you may be entertaining the guest so there has been best practices around the hotels in the previous uh, uh, in the last year during the initial waves of covid uh, the peoples were uh, putting the songs online uh, distressing distressing and motivational uh, videos uh, they were doing the comedy humor they were uh, sharing the things which are worthy to share maybe an instagramable post maybe a story about the motivational about the uh, the emotions about the music about the anything uh, which inspire peoples then you can also be sharing an informational messages so the informational messages does include csr efforts does include uh, uh, information crucial and useful about the destination uh, how many cases are there uh, are there any lockdowns uh, are there any restrictions to travel is there anything new project coming in is there any new attraction coming in your destination so basically what you are doing is you're just informing the peoples about the place uh, by doing that you are not promoting but you are in, always constantly up in their minds uh, you may be doing some csr efforts you may be donating uh, food you may be growing the trees you may be uh, cleaning the road you may be cleaning the beach so you may want to uh, put out there in terms of images in terms of videos so that the guest know uh, the what kind of activities you are doing so these activities are not just only inspire in, informational but also are inspirational so that inspire the guest right so the guests also want to protect the environment protect the society do the diver, uh, follow upon the diversity follow upon the equality so you can create something uh, which is inspirational for the guest uh, maybe it can be a success story of your associate maybe it's an unforgettable moments of the guest that they have spent on the uh, on the on in your resorts in your areas so these are the area these are the things apart from the operation and, and then in the meantime in between of these you can always um, uh, put up some promotional if you have a promotion like a staycation or anything else or at the end of the message uh, you can have a small sentence if you want to book us uh, you can always go to our website always go to call us for inquiries however you want the guest to contact you so that you can upsell uh, your things with them right 
so uh, in a nutshell you would be marketing your hotel in terms of uh, by th through the educational messaging through the entertainment uh, through the information through the inspiration so this is the these are the ways how you will engage with the customers so this is what of the message now the how of the message now uh, how of the message is very important uh, and you have um, and you have to be clear on how you are going to do the messaging right so there are ways of uh, direct messaging so you may be you you might have to choose a platform uh, uh, to write down your content it can be videos it can be helpful blogs it can be images and it can be the uh, website so what you have to do is uh, one thing is you have to have your continue to have your platform continue to do the seo even if people are may not be searching for the uh, for the the website or for the keywords but they are still searching for uh, inspiration is they are searching for information they are still searching for entertainment so if you have your content in terms of blogs in terms of images in terms of videos you can put them on your website you can put them on your youtube channel or other social media channels but ideally uh, the content marketing the principles of content marketing defines that you need to have your pillar um, uh, platform which is either your website or your linkedin or, dip or your any other platform you with of your choice wherever you want to put as a platform to put all the messages and all the guests are coming to that location right so let's assume it's the best website so all the content marketing you need to put all the videos all the helpful blogs images on your website continue to do the seo in terms of technical seo or in terms of also the the sharing of non technical seo the off page seo and also you have you may have a customer database if you don't have it you start to build it uh, and do the direct messaging via emails via whatsapp messages via viber messages via line messages however you are connecting with your audience uh, so there are instant messaging there are emails there are uh, boosting on social media um, so you can use the direct messaging platform you can use the content marketing via seo via social media marketing uh, so these are the ways of how we are going to say our message how we are going to deliver our message to our target audience so these are the steps now the next thing you uh, and the social media engagement of course uh, you have linkedin you have social media you have facebook you have instagram you have uh, all the channels uh, to keep on engaging with the guests the key is the engagement now the next question you may want to settle down is how much you really want to spend and how to save the money so the it, the the money to spend would depend on the cash flows if you have uh, some revenue set aside some money even if <coughs> sorry even if you are closed and you don't really have a revenue you may still want to set aside a minimum amount to spend on few things so where are you going to spend the money so you are uh, you are going to focus uh, things to get the things done in house so we will show you how um now where to spend the money uh in the next slide but how you can save though so you want to get things done in-house right uh you may ask the, your staff to write down the articles you can do the photography for, via mobile you can create the videos using the free tools you can write down the stories of your of your uh, associates within in-house so you can try to get things done in-house but it has to be a bit of professional way um, utilize the free tools uh, there are slack there are uh, video uh, making uh, tools online there are there is a canva for designing the images there are free stock images that you can use uh, so these are the tools that you can use for writing down there are, there is a, there are free tools such as grammarly uh, or as sem rush um, there is a neilpatil.com for checking on your keyword search ch checking on your whether your uh, article is written in a good english in a easy to read in a re easy to read manner uh, canva can help you to design the photography create the presentations um, 
in video can help you with the video making tools lumen can help you with the videos so there are many multiple tools if you search you will find a lot of tools which are nowadays free uh, for creating the assets of your uh, for your efforts and you need to focus on organic channels rather than spending on paid advertising so there were uh, in terms of paid advertising there were banner ads there were sem pay per click ads so at this point of time during the low business if you have some business you may want to spend money on the paid advertising only if it's linked to the revenue so as a part for part of revenue for example like <coughs> sorry booking.com is charging 15% some SEM companies are also charging a revenue based uh, percentage. So they will be taking an X amount of percentage from your revenue, but do the marketing by themselves. So uh, instead of rathering, the, instead of fix, uh, putting a fixed amount on the paid advertising, I would rather suggest you to focus on organic channels. Do it by yourself. Uh, try to boost your YouTube, try to uh, leverage the LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or Google My Business, um, your own website. So these are free to do. It does take uh, time and energy to maintain these channels and grow the audience, but they are free. And uh, unfortunately, you have a luxury of time to, to spend uh, money, uh, to spend efforts on it. But it will give you a long term benefit if you continue to grow your channels now organically uh, by the time you, you, you the business is back in normal situation we will be able to gain as much as we should be able to do it so where you are going to spend the money uh, some money you may want to spend on technical seo because uh, some technical seo is something you cannot do in house right so you need a, you still need an expert for for that so you may want to talk to your web developer or uh, any other agency which uh, has been working with you in the past to do that continue to do the technical seo um, uh, so that you can continue to keep your uh, assets uh, in a high ranking right uh, you may want to buy the tools of automation if let's say you have uh, uh, it, because the the free tools have some limitations if you want to really uh, focus on it you can buy the pro versions of canva pro versions of the shady or uh, uh, social media posting uh, tools you may want to buy the pro versions of the video creation tools uh, stock images which are um, which are premium those are not really a big spend those are a rather relatively smaller spend a maximum of fifty dollars a month hundred dollars a month mac at max to buy for all the tools for automation uh, it's not atomization it's automization so sorry for my spelling mistake um, so you need to buy those tools and uh, you may if let's say you don't have an in-house expertise on story writing or graphic designing you may want to hire freelancers uh, to do these tasks for you they are in if you can go to the free uh, fiverr you go to upwork you go to any other um, uh, freelancing website you may find uh, the freelancers for very small amount for who can do the graphic designing for you who can do the uh, article and story writing for you so they are not very expensive and you can use make use of uh, interns you can hire the uh, the interns as of now from the hotel management schools from the graduate uh, mba schools and utilize them in uh, writing for you designing for you creating the assets creating the, the campaigns and you pay them on a radium so it's not entirely free but it's not super expensive to maintain you're not spending a thousand dollars a month on um, on uh, uh, on the agencies so you may not want to you may not want to do that but you still want to do some sort of spend so that your brand is keep up there uh, no paid advertising unless the is linked to the revenue generating uh, you may want to uh, have some money aside aside for if you don't have a marketing um, uh, head or a marketing manager you may want some money for uh, setting aside for direction so you can hire a, a marketing agency like a hotel management school who can help you design the programs and maintain the uh, and monitor the programs that you are running so uh, so that 
there is a enough efficiency and cost optimization how to now uh, we have discussed um, what to say how to say um, uh, uh, and uh, and how where to spend the money now how to do it so there is a three uh, basic steps in in doing the marketing for the hotels the first step would be to identify the right channel and audience and how do we do that uh, you have to understand your USP, right? So you have to understand who is interested in your solution, in your hotel, in your destination, in your the value that you are providing to the uh, to the organ audience. So the hotels might have um, might may, may be good for family, may be good for uh, business, may be good for meetings, may be good for weddings, may be good for relax you know, only or resorts. So you have to really understand what is your solution, who are your target audience um, and then try to pro find the profile of those person, try to make a profile of those person. Uh, we have a separate uh, module where we have explained how we design the customer journey and how do we create the customer profile. So you can look at our uh, course on our website as free, so you can, uh, you can just um, learn from there how we create the customer profile so um, uh, first thing first step is to understand what is your usp uh, what do we offer then uh, try to identify the audience who might be interested what is their profile are they family members are they business people how old are they where do they live uh, which location are they living it will help you to uh, streamline your efforts uh, and try to uh, be as focused as possible rather than uh, trying to attract every market not just that okay uh, every indian is my uh, audience no it, not everybody is your audience right so you have to have a clear identification my audience is maybe a range of 30 to 40 year old he is a businessman single traveler um, and is mostly coming from Bombay and only uh, only Calcutta based on the profile so there you have a clear understanding and so when you are going to post next time you can uh, either post in uh, Mumbai or Maharashtrian language so that you can attract those people right so that it's uh, the, the when you are writing down your message you can customize based on the profile that is going to be attracted by this so um, then uh, you need to understand where they are spending the time are they uh, going on youtube are they going on facebook are they going on uh, uh, newspapers are they watching the tv they are watching the netflix what are they doing basically so you may need to uh, understand that in order to create the uh, to understand where you should be spending your marketing budget right uh, try to include the less uh, common platforms as FB is already crowded, so you may want to go to Pinterest. You, if there, if there, if your audience are there, you may want to try the new ones like Clubhouse or Telegram or um, LinkedIn. They are not super crowded, but uh, they are, they are. There is there is a lot of people there, but is not overcrowded yet. Uh, on Facebook, there are so many messages uh, coming around on a news feed. On an average, you will see in every minute 50, 60 posts are coming in and by the time and the uh, the attention span of the people is very very small compared to the other platforms and match your method uh, of your message so uh, how you are going to post give your messaging so if let's say you are putting the videos uh, you may not want to put that on the facebook because uh, uh, or you may not want to put them on your website only the for videos the better platforms are youtube right for image the better platform are instagram or facebook uh, for writing your better platform by your own website or blog post or the medium or any other blog post website uh, which you may want to try out so you have to really understand um, how you are go which method you are going for your content for your information and choose the method accordingly right and also it depends on the the, the what we are doing an entertainment you are doing an education you are doing an uh, uh, you are doing an inspiration so you can choose the uh, the platform uh, wisely then 
the next uh, second step is to execute the plan so you first you make the plan um, then you the second step is you make and execute the plan so uh, you should try in-house talent uh, try to write down the stories using in-house uh, staff you may have already some staff in your front office which are uh, which has which may have a better understanding of uh, telling the stories because they are dealing with the customers they are articulating the facts so they may be uh, you may want you may have to train them a little bit there are free courses available on udemy there are free courses available on my website ehotelmanagementschool.com there are um, many courses available uh, online now on youtube so they can learn and they can do it so even if they don't have the skills they can learn it right then you can get ex get experts to help you on strategy and crafting the messages so you can contact us uh, for helping you out on the strategy uh, helping you out on creating a calendar crafting the messages what message should be going out uh, what should we say on the message uh, how the picture should look like what should be the videos so you can uh, get experts to help you out on those things then the third step is really on to monitor the spend and the return so you may you have spent some money to spend you, you may have to spend some money it may not be 100 percent free but you may want to monitor it and look at what is the return so in returns in terms of uh, so there are two ways to monitor the returns returns should be in terms of business that is generated by the marketing efforts and also the engagement with the customers right so it's not only the uh the the monetary returns but also the engagement so every campaign that you are running on every anywhere need to be monitored in terms of uh returns so how you are going to go so you are not really going to uh, monitor uh, track the likes or the impressions because those are not relevant what you are going to do is focus on share how many shares are there how many comments are there because that uh, takes efforts from, from the people right so how many times uh, people have shared or how many people how many times people have commented on your post only likes is something may not be relevant and uh, is very um, is very um, not so solid uh, return so not so solid metrics uh, in terms of returns so you may want to focus on getting shares comments uh, leads uh, on the or the inquiries so those are the areas where you want to uh, focus your attention to so these are the overall uh, steps on whether you should be doing the marketing whether you should not be doing the marketing so in a nutshell you should be doing the marketing for your hotel uh, the only thing is you may want to uh, go away from promotional uh, offers only but more on the targeting the customer engagement through education through inspiration through uh, entertainment and you want to get the things done in-house by uh, using your extern using your uh, already uh, working staff in your hotel because you may have to pay them some sort of salary so since you are paying them something you may want to get uh, things out of them so if they don't know how to do it you can train them if you don't know how to strategize you can contact us uh, so this is the so but you still have to do the marketing some sort of marketing don't cut 100 percent and sit quiet on the uh, on, on your in your office and say uh, since the business is low we don't want to do the marketing anymore uh, because uh, there is no point nobody will see it is not that case thank you very much